Welcome everyone, my name's Dom, and a little while ago, I bought the AirPods Max when they first released. I did an incomplete review and an unboxing and a few other little things like that. You know, I've had them now for a while, and there is there's a lot to these headphones, and, and, and we gotta talk about them, so let's get into it. Okay, so if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I'll kind of just do a quick summary about these headphones, right? So they start at 549, which is an absurd price for headphones because they're more expensive than like a lot of the traditional competitors by Sony and Sennheiser and what have you. But then, you know, they are cheaper than a lot of the like really truly elite reference headphones that can be used for, you know, different, uh, like for making music and, and audio production or what have you. So they're in this weird zone. And this was similar with the uh, the Pro, uh, what the hell was it called? Their Pro XDR display that they released with the whole like cheese grater uh, Mac Pro. These are, while they are expensive, you know, they're not like, you know, $80 million. You, you can, you know, you, 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 you can't buy a car you know, technically speaking, uh, with, uh, with $550, uh, in the way that you can after, you know, spending $5,000 on the monitor and then $5,000 for the base, uh, you know, Mac pro computer. Uh, no, these guys though, even though they're expensive and that is kind of the only real thing that, that makes, makes these a little uncomfortable. These headphones I use constantly all the time. And I have them just like I said, in, in my other videos, I have worn them on my head for, hours and i mean hours there are nights now where i will be you know if i'm trying to get ready to go to bed and i want to watch a youtube video or something like that i can throw these on put them in noise canceling mode and honestly just the the the, the, the comfort alone is kind of 99 percent of what makes these headphones so great the sound quality is excellent as these have been broken in um, they have just gotten better sounding and better sounding and better sounding. They are not the greatest sounding things that I've ever heard, but considering the price point, they sound perfectly perfect for the price point that they sit in. There's no complaints about audio quality. There's no distortion. Um, mids come in, highs come in. Everything comes in really nice. It's got a really good control. These have a really good control over the bass. So everything there is great. It's, it's the comfort and the features, the transparency mode and the noise canceling mode that make these so wonderful. In addition, if you're in a Mac ecosystem like I am, the ability to just transfer the headphones without having to plug them in is just it, it's wonderful you're not dealing with all the bluetooth pairing nuances and all the all the hassle that comes along with that no you can just you can just switch everything over so all that stuff is great the only thing that holds them back and uh oh i just dropped them the only thing that holds them back are pretty much two things one of them is kind of like eh, man which uh, is the case so i talk about this case a lot of people talk about this case this case is dumb um sometimes i use it sometimes i don't mostly i don't uh but the the real big unfortunate Thing with these headphones is the lack of USB-C. So I did a rant a while ago and I talked about, where, where did I put it? And I talked about this cable and how this $30 cable is, which is not included by the way, uh, with the uh, with the AirPods Max. This cable here is a lightning to USB, uh, not USB, a lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter, which is great for when you wanna use the headphones with something uh, that you know doesn't necessarily have Bluetooth or you may not wanna like repair uh, the, the headphones to the particular product like somebody else's phone or in this case, like we do the, we have the podcast, we have a few other things, I do some live streaming now so you can definitely check that out. All the links are down below. Uh, but the, um, you know, I, for the live stream, I use a mixer, which is just a, basically a bunch of way of putting a bunch of audio inputs in, you can plug this in, it, it's, it's not really important. Outside of the fact that this isn't included and Apple it has the gall to charge $30 uh, for this cable. The fact that it's lightning immediately limits its capabilities because this isn't the only way to get technically wouldn't be the only way to get a wired mode to the headphones and for all intents and purposes like if this thing was type c for a lot of other devices you could just plug it in via type c and it would move the uh you know it would it, it would it would do what it's supposed to do and there's so many different type c cables type c is becoming the standard i've talked about that um in a few other videos and it's 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 just so unfortunate that it's not type c it's just that one little convenience that i would say would have made these perfect and you know like if you ever have an opportunity to try these headphones out and try them don't try them um you know like brand new go to a store or maybe not a store 
find someone who who has had them for a while. You just want to make sure that they're that they're used because at the end of the day, when you first buy them, the, the sound signature is going to change over time as the drivers they move a lot, they soften up, they loosen up. The the sound becomes more defined um, depending on how you use them and how you play, um, and and so they they will change. Um, they will change the sound signature over time. So you want to make sure that if you're going to listen to these and you're really considering purchasing these, and audio quality is a very important thing um, to factor that in. But I mean everything else about them is just so spectacular. I mean, you know, I've talked about this too. The fact that the ear cups here are magnetic. It's it's great. I mean, like just the fact that you can replace these and mind you, they're 70 bucks, but that's Apple being Apple with their with their expensive. The 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 fact that these just come off makes them easy to clean. You know, you get you get little hairs in there and, and other little flakes and what have you. You could just you could just I mean, it's just it's just that little stuff like every little thing was thought about with these headphones. The engineering, I've talked about this too, the machining of how this little retractable arm and it's such a simple mechanism for, you know, talking again about the comfort, which is really the basis for this. These things just really adjust to your head. I mean, it's 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 great. This little banana hammock thing that's shaped weird. <laughs> Um, it's a it's a great design like these things have so many good things going for them and they're so simple and minimalist that it's it's understated and it's overstated at the same time it's just it's they're great they're great the build quality is great um, another little weird kind of gripe that I have is um, I have a big ass head and so what happens is I usually leave them in this state here and I, I did that in the review they, they click together um, and when you have them in this state so if I don't want them clicking together and uh, you know, I have to uh, I have to retract them in. But yeah, I mean, if, if if you're deep in the Apple ecosystem, I would say this is a must have if you don't have them already. Uh, if if you're contemplating getting something, getting these, get these over the standard AirPods and AirPods Pro. Um, these beat them a thousand to one, a thousand to one. Having you know, having having a little a little set of wireless earbuds. Um, you know, for like long travel or maybe the office, you don't have, you know, cover your whole head up with uh, with big old like <laughs> over ear headphones, uh, you know, might be a perk of having, um, you know, a set of AirPods. But the these uh, these are I mean, they, they, they're just they're just great. Like I, I end up losing the amount of time that I just have these things on my head because of the things like transparency mode, which if I didn't explain that before, it's basically, you know, these things have a bunch of microphones on them. So they have the ability to like pass, you know, ambient sounds in your ear so you can still hear. And it does it so well that the, these headphones produce sound so well and the transparency mode produces sound so well and so accurately. There are times where if I'm like watching um, a, a movie or a show or a video or something like that, it has it has decent like stereo separation. Like you can really get that left and, and right channel audio. Uh, there are times where I'm so I get so used to the transparency mode that if you know if I'm watching it on my phone, this is a great example. If I'm watching it on my phone, what will end up happening is I will get tricked into thinking that the audio is not actually coming through the headphones. It's actually coming out of the phone itself, and. That is such a weird thing. They are coming through the headphones, but they are, it's just, it's so weird to get that kind of sound accuracy to where your perception of sound and 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 how sound sounds when, <laughs> I love that, how sound sounds when, you know, it's coming from different sources and you get tricked by that kind of stuff. It's sort of like, you know, virtual surround sound type stuff. When it's done really well, it will make you feel, your intuition will go off and you'll want to look behind you or to the side or whatever. But, you know, and, and it's, 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 but it really just boils down to that. The ability to adjust the volume with the little knob here at the top. That's great. The button to just switch modes. That's great. Everything's great. I just wish it had type C. I wish all the Apple stuff, it's time. The lightning connector's got to go. We've had our fun with it, but it's over. It's done. It's got to go. And, and that would have been the one thing where I could honestly say I would give it a perfect score even with the price even with the price because once you have them they slowly justify that price and and just my day-to-day -day use like i didn't realize how often i'm using these things i just forget that they're on my head so it's just a culmination of so many great things and and so this is a you know again this is like a pseudo you know kind of like midterm update before we get to the complete review of these headphones um to see you know how long do they last you know does the quality hold up does do you know does the features that you know are there any major bugs anything that's weird that will be all that stuff will be in the complete review, uh, but I just kind of wanted to add this to the almost perfect series and, um, you know, sort of do like, a, you know, a, a mid review uh, update as we get closer to uh, to the complete review, which I'll probably do after a year, whenever the next AirPods get released, so like AirPods Pro 2 or whatever, um, that's when I will more than likely do the complete review.
review for uh, for these headphones. Anyway, guys, that about wraps this one up. Um, yes, I am back. I know I took a little bit of a, of a, of a like a hiatus type thing. I had a bunch of stuff that came up with work that I had to do, so I didn't have a bunch of, of time to, uh, to to focus on YouTube. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing. If you're new to the channel, definitely go check out some of my other stuff. Throw a like on the video. It helps a lot. Of course, I'm doing the new thing. Please consider sharing the video. I think that makes YouTube want to send these videos out to like everybody. So um, anyway, guys, as always, talk to you soon.